So I recently came across this page here. Um, somebody posted a link for something uh, on this site here on the Coco Discord server. Um, and I went and I checked it out and I came across this RAM tester for the Coco too. It's cool because it uh, doesn't need RAM to test the RAM. It's a program written completely uh, to work out of ROM and to use uh, the registers of the 6809 uh, for temporary storage. And it works well. So this gentleman here, um, his name here says it's uh, Dennis Bison, but he's French Canadian. So I'm imagining it's pronounced something like Denis Bisson or something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry for butchering your name. Um, but he's created this uh, very cool diagnostic tool, which I've adapted. Well, not really adapted. I just used it on my Coco 2. I have a 263134A board, which is the Coco 2 with a single ROM for both Color Basic and Extended Color Basic. All I had to do was take his binary, which he provides here, his binary and the source code. Um, all I had to do was offset it by, um, you know, eight kilobytes um, for it to run on this Coco. Now, what's cool is, here's my Coco, right there, and there's the ROM. I've already burnt it. I have no RAM here installed. My Coco is currently off. Before I do that, uh, I'll show you what it does. It it runs just on the CPU. And what's cool about this is that uh, he writes a bit banger that's stored in the ROM and sends the data out of the serial port. And you can read that on a terminal emulator. You just have to set it to 600 uh, baud, you know, and, and it'll, it'll tell you what it's reading on the memory. This is really cool. So right now I have no memory installed, so it should uh, give a bunch of errors. And we'll see that now. Let's try that. Oops, I didn't open a serial terminal. Let's open one up here. I have several. I like to use this one. It comes with Linux. It's called GTK term. Okay, so let's configure this. We're gonna use, uh, yeah, I'm using TTY US, uh, TTY zero or TTY USB zero if I'm using a USB adapter, but this is a straight zero port on my computer. Baud rate is gonna be set to 600. Parity is none, eight bits, one stop bit and no flow control. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my Coco on And we'll see on the screen, since I have no RAM installed, an orange screen. Uh, my TV, don't mind my TV. Because sometimes it can, sometimes it can't display colors. But anyways, we'll see stuff coming up on the screen here. And right now there is no uh, automatic, you know, control line feed, uh, carriage return light feed, which I'm going to add here. So we can see, and what are we seeing here on the screen? Well, at address, for example, 008D, the program writes an EF and it reads an FF and it tells you that's bad. And this X represents the chip that it was reading on. So chip 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So each line there represents a chip because he designed this to work on a Coco that has eight DRAM chips. Now, this is okay. We can still use this to test this over here. We just, you know, have to think about it a little bit. So, this Coco here doesn't have eight DRAM chips. It has two, right? And so, on a on a Coco on the previous Coco on the twenty six, thirty twenty six and twenty seven, each DRAM chip holds one bit of memory. So eight of them gives you eight bits, right? Or a, or a byte. On here, uh, what you have is this one holds a nibble. This one holds another nibble. So four bits and four bits. And so let's try that. Um, heck, where did I put that RAM? I think this is it. Yeah. So this is a 64K four-bit chip on there. Okay, so what we should see in the test program, we should see that it'll read, it'll it'll read half of it correctly, right? So let's turn this on here. 
okay? And here's what we see. And we do see that, actually. Let me turn off the cocoa so it stops scrolling. So what we see here on the screen, oh, sorry that I'm so shaky right here, is that at address one, it writes a zero one, and what's returned is an F1. Address two, it writes a zero two, returns an F2. So you see so on and so forth that we get one nibble back correctly. And that corresponds to the one chip that we put in. Now, I'm gonna remove that chip and put it in the other socket. And so what we should see is this situation is flipped. Well, where we can read successfully read back this nibble, because this is four bits. Each one of these numbers represents four bits, right? So this up here is zero one one one. This here is one 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 one. Okay, so so let's remove this guy here, and we're going to place it over here. All right, and so we're going to turn it on. There we go. And now we see the opposite. We're successfully reading back the first nibble instead of the second nibble. Okay, which makes sense since we moved the DRAM chip to the other side. Now, what does this look like when it has working RAM? All right, glad you asked, all right. So let's put the other one in. Okay. On the screen, we'll see stuff now. Okay. And I like it with color, so let's, let's bring that back here. Okay. And you'll see that it will display no RAM, RAM test. No RAM, RAM test. And it will scroll. Okay. Over here. On the screen, what we see is that it is reporting no errors because it is reading back what it is writing. Okay? Now, let's say we wanted to do this test without a VDG. Well, in theory, you don't need a VDG. You can remove it. There goes my VDG, and in theory, we won't see anything on the screen, that's for sure, right? But we'll see stuff on the screen, on the uh, on my uh, terminal program. So nothing on the screen. But over here, we see that it is working. And just one more thing to test. We will remove this chip. Right, which means uh, what we'll see is the second nibble being read back successfully on the program, right? So let's turn this on. And remember, there is no VDG. And there are other chips that you can remove and you can still use this. So let me stop, turn off the cocoa. And we see that indeed we're reading back the second nibble. Anyhow, this is very cool. I'll put links to his uh, source and binary in this video here in the description. Um, thank you very much, uh, Denis, uh, for making this. I suspect I will be using this to test Cocos.